Okay, let's do the last one. The last one is to calculate the square root using Newton's method. So we want to find the square root of n to an accuracy. Let's just return n to start with. And then we're going to ask for enter the number to calculate Accuracy, enter. Let's see, enter the accuracy value. Um, so let's see, that's that, and then we'll calculate the square root and say the square root of. It's not low and high, would be n and accuracy of n to accuracy of ac is 7, it said. Of course, I saved it over top of my other solution again, but oh well. Python 3, program 7. And ask me square root of, I'm um, going to say 10, accuracy value 0 0.01, and uh, let's see, valid literal base. So, no problem with that. Um, oh, it doesn't like that value. Um, yeah, it's not going to be an integer. Obviously, it's going to be a float. And we're going to use floats for both of these now that I think about it. So let's try that again. We're going to say 10 and 0 0.01. And that's fine. The square root of 10 to accuracy of 0 0.01 is 10, which is wrong. But we've got the input fine now. So now we have to implement a Newton's method. So Newton's method works like this. We're going to take an initial guess. And we can just set it to what n is. Or we could just choose one. It's good enough. And then what we need to do is do calculations. So our candidate is going to be, if we look up Newton's method, it will be the guess plus n divided by the guess divided by 2.0. That's our candidate value. And so what we really want to keep doing is calculate the difference between the previous guess and the next guess. So I'm going to just set the difference to be a really large number, like a thousand for now. And then while this difference is greater than that accuracy, then I'm going to calculate the new candidate. I'm going to calculate what the new difference is. It's the candidate minus the previous guess. Um, and I want to make sure the difference is always positive, so we're going to make the absolute value of that. And then for the purpose of the next calculation, the guess is the previous candidate. Notice I calculate the difference before I change guess, or else it would just be zero. Um, so we're going to keep doing this loop until um, the difference is actually less than or equal to the accuracy, or not bigger than the accuracy. So that should work. Let's check the value. Let's try 100 within a 0.01. It's going to crank across, and the square root of 100 to the accuracy of 0 0.01 is 100. Well, that's because I returned n, which was kind of silly. We want to return what the candidate was. Let's try again, 100 to 0 0.01, and it's going to calculate down to 10.000000. So it got down to close enough. Uh, 10. Let's try something else. Let's try 10 to an accuracy of 0 0.01 and it's going to stop down at 3.16. So it looks like we're about right and that's close enough for our purposes.